upside down world. Idea strand one, Dead King will not go upside down. Repeatedly, the funeral text states that a man must not go upside down in the realm of the dead. It may be that the deceased in the afterlife or the enfolded holographic like order perceives our maternal space time as upside down in a fashion similar to the Fourier transformation, just as we perceive the image on the human retina as upside down. As Pribram contends, our familiar space time lies on one side of the Fourier transform with a distributed and folded holographic like order, the frequency or spectral domain on the other side. Let's examine this upside down idea by first looking at how our eyes function when visual information goes into the pupil and bends through the lens of the eye, the input is projected upside down and backwards on the retina. Brain researcher Carl Primbrum, MD, explains his inversion process as a transformation of an image from our world, space-time, through the lens of the eye, to a processing domain of at least eight dimensions on the retina. He further states that his image in the eye allows us to infer that the outside world is similar to a hologram, a three-dimensional image created with photographic projection. Simply put, light bounces everywhere in a holographic fashion. Numerous texts instruct the dead person not to go upside down so it is apparent that the deceased in the spectral domain of the afterlife perceives himself as upright in the world of matter and the living as upside down. You shall walk upon your feet. You shall not walk head downwards. The indication here is that in our world we are walking head downwards. Actually this may apply for it is in agreement with the rotation of our galaxy considering the sense of rotation the galaxy at the sun's position is rotating toward the direction of right ascension. 2112 is the ratio. Declination is plus 48 and 19 the ratio. This shows that it rotates backwards in the galactic coordinate system. That is, the galactic north pole is actually a physical south pole with respect to galactic rotation so one could say that we are upside down with actually the full advice to the dead is not to eat the feces in the realm of the dead not to walk upside down to have power over water and air to go forth into the day at coffin text 184 the idea of not eating feces or suggests per i mean putrefaction and, dec and decay related to bacterial agents, which seem, seems a reasonable parallel to our model that asserts that Earth and its magnetosphere act like a single cell bacterium such as E. coli. It is obvious that it is just an odious, just as odious to go upside down as it is to eat shit in the realm of the dead, the duo. The deceased believes that to be upside down in my, is my detestation and that my skin was turned inside out at the time of nightfall in the West. Similarly, deceased furries, the deceased furries across the firmament when the sacred land is turned upside down. Coffin text 343. In other words, the process of inversion has resulted in a deceased now walking upright. The great West is he who stretches out my bones and extends my limbs so I may walk on my feet like Osiris. It is interesting that scientists perceive the human genome as reversed, transcribed, or written backwards in places, suggesting that millions of years ago the human genome may have been viral. Our genome is also littered with families of repetitive DNA sequences that have no function, such as mobile genetic elements, transpons, and tandemly repeated simple sequence DNAs, 
according to Desmond Nickel, senior lecture, lecturer at the University of Paisley in Scotland. 97% of the human genome, genome has no known function. Of course, if we are, were in the afterlife, viewing the viral part of our genome, it would be upright and the rest of the genome would be reversed, transcribed and backwards. Reverse trans transcription results in a complementary DNA that is actually transcribed backwards and upside down. Finally, the funeral text reminds us Seth who turned the land upside down. Seth is the god of confusion and disorder whose disagreement with Osiris resulted in the injury to the eye of Horus, which the Egyptians might say resulted in the upside down human creation. Equipped with his new death vision, the deceased, a specter in the spectral domain, perceives our world of matter as upside down. We can conclude that the holography reverse transcription and vision may all be relative to the inversion imagery evident in the text decoded now. Upside down world equals space time material world of living humans. The material world. Our universe then may be a hologram or a invertible reflection of the quantum world. In holography, every part of the writing contains information about the whole. The hologram would be the material representation of the whole writing of or holograph. That is a three-dimensional image where information about the holograph is recorded. When our world or the hologram is illuminated, what emerges is a rational 3D picture that enfolds the whole image in each of its parts. So if you cut the picture into pieces, each piece would still contain the whole. The deceased states, I am Ra, I am Atum, I am Lord of Everlasting, I am the being which upholds eternity. So Atum, in his quantum world, as the sun god, as the eye of generation, now becomes the light from within the illuminate, that illuminates our 3D material world or hologram. It may be the process of death. It may be that the process of death is an upside down movement of one's consciousness or genetic essence from the space-time realm of matter to the spectral domain of energy. In order in an order of frequencies that is disturbed, enfolded, and holographic. The Fourier transformation can be simply described as making the big small and the small big. As Hermes said, what is above is like what is below. Likewise, Robert Bovell has confirmed that the alignment of five of Egypt's, Egypt's pyramids mirror five of the seven stars in the constellation of Orion. Apparently, the pharaohs understood that the whole is enfolded everywhere and that our brains are part of the universe, which has a holographic mode of operation. So decoded is our universe above equals hologram quantum world below holograph whole writing firstborn dna in the interest of seeing the whole writing let's review a rough timeline of the development of the first cell from this, and we're going to look at figure 8-1 with this. From this, we can see that the prokaryotic cells developed 3.8 billion years ago. And anaerobic prokaryote, prokaryote is a uh, cell bacterium that does not have a membrane around its nuclear region. But aerobic eukaryote do have a true nucleus surrounded by a membrane again let me crystallize that an anaerobic prokaryote is a cell bacterium that does not have a membrane around its nuclear region but the aerobic 
aerobic, make that clear, eukaryotes do have a true nucleus surrounded by the membrane. Reconstructing early events in the transition of the prokaryote and the eukaryote, eukaryotic cells is problematic for evolutionary biologists. Some believe eukaryotes, eukaryotes were born out of stepwise symbiotic union of prokaryotic cells, while others believe that the ability to the ability to phagocytose prey led to the origin of the eukaryotic features prior to the endosymbiosis. Well, the endosymbiosis. After reviewing this timeline and reading the Egyptian text, we could say that a tomb's DNA was first born, then the prokaryotic or prokaryote cells DNA develop, followed by a eukaryote cell DNA type. Okay, so sun, star, or atum is the firstborn DNA, or ray atum. Earth equals the prokaryote DNA, and humans equal the eukaryote DNA. Okay, so just again to make this clear, Sun, star, or tomb, or ray of tomb, or ra, equals the firstborn DNA. Earth equals the prokaryotic DNA, and humans equal the eukaryotic DNA. As mentioned, the pharaohs equated the sun with a beetle pushing a dung ball as a meta symbol, which could also represent the solar wind pressure pushing on the Earth's magnetosphere. To expand on this idea, consider that the sun beetle is a bacterial virus or bacterial phage enveloping the bacterial dumbball of the earth. Imagine the earth as a sphere of life floating like a cylindrical soap bottle bubble within the sun's magnetic field. We can easily see the viral sun enveloping the prokaryote subkingdom of Earth in a manner similar to phagatosis. And they want us to check out the sketch from the road from Orion chapter 10.